Hello everyone, welcome to Ketu Blog and in this video I will show you how you can enable copy to clipboard button in your blogger website. So here I have add a block code and here I have add a copy to clipboard button. So let me just open a notepad file and let me just click on copy to clipboard. Now let's open the notepad file and let's paste this. And here as you can see the content is copied by just clicking the button. Now let me just copy the second content. So I will click on this and let me just paste it here. So as you can see, you can add a click to copy button in your website. So for this, you have to assign a ID to the element. So you can use this copy to clipboard button in any element like code box, block code, paragraph, deep. So let me just show you how you can implement it in your blogger website. So for this, let me just go to the blogger dashboard and let's create a new post. And let me just switch to compose view and let's copy a content from here. And let's paste it here. Now let me just select this and let me just make it a block code now let's click on preview button and as you can see the default block code in this theme looks like this so you have to add a copy to clipboard button just below the block code so for this we have to go to the html view section and let me just click on enter and we have to add the button code so here I will copy the code from here and let me just paste it here. So this is basically the button code and here I have implemented a SBG icon. So here as you can see, let me just refresh this first and here as you can see, this is the SBG icon. So you can remove this SVG icon if you want to display a simple button and this is the CSS code for this button. And this is the script that will help you add the copy to clipboard button. So here we have add a ID my input. So you have to add that ID. So let me just copy this ID from here and let's go to the block code. And here I will add that ID. So I will type ID equal to and in the double code I will paste that ID and let's close the double code now the id is added to the block code now the copy to clipboard button will work so let me just publish this first and let me just open it in a new tab okay now the copy to clipboard button is added let me just click on copy and the text is copied in my clipboard now i can paste it here now let me just copy a different text from here to the clipboard so that it will override the previous one. Now let's click on button again and let's paste it here. Okay. Now the copy to clipboard button is added. Now let's check how we can add multiple button in the website. So to add multiple button, let me just go to the blog post and let me just create another block code so i will copy the block code from here and let's paste it here and i will change the content a little bit from here and here i will change the id so here i will change the id to my input one and let's take the button after the first block code and then add the button after the second block code now to work the new copy to clipboard button we have to add a second script so here i will just copy this script again and paste it like this and here i will change the id so here i will change the id to my input one so this is the id that we added in the second block code now you have to change the button 
id so here let me just change the button id so here change the button id to k2 button 1 and then i will add the button id in the script like this so you have to change the input id in the block code and then you have to change the button id in the second button and you have to paste the script again so let me just update this and let's refresh this page okay now the second block code is added now let me just click on copy to clipboard button now let's paste it here and as you can see it is working but there is one mistake here the when i click on the copy button it will change the text copied in the first button so here we have to change an another id so here as you can see this is the button id so here i have to change to k2 button 1 so that it will change the text so here you can change the button text like text copied or the text is copied to clipboard or code copied so let me just update this and let's replace this page okay now let me just click on copied and as you can see the text change to text copied so for this you have to change the button id here and then change the button id in this place so you have to change the button id in the in this two place and then you have to change the input id here in the block code i hope you got the idea how the copy to clipboard button work and how you can implement it in your blogger website i know this is a little bit tricky but you can easily implement this in your website you just need to add the id so just copy the id from the script and then add the id in this way just after the block code and if you don't want to add that svg icon then let me just remove that svg code from here now the button code will looks like this now let me just update this and let's refresh this page and as you can see the copy to clipboard button is gone simply just copy button is showing so let me just click on this and as you can see the text is changed so in this way you can further customize this and you can also change the button color so here i have added the button k to copy button so here you can change the color so this is the text color and this is the background color and you can also change the font weight or size of the button and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and i will also publish a blog post where i will explain how the button work and if this video helps then make sure to hit the like button so that it motivates me to keep creating more content like this and i will see you in the next video thank you